Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? I'd love to hear you from the comments. Today we're diving into a fun green spooky eye look, so grab your makeup kits and let's get started together. As you may have noticed in the intro and throughout the video, I've used my Canon EOS camera. It's specifically not designed for filming and unfortunately it doesn't have autofocus. So if you see me looking in and out of focus, that's why I'm so sorry. Anyways, let's move on. First off, I picked the shade Sour from a Made by Mitchell colour case. This step isn't a must, but I'm really curious about how it works underneath my eyeshadow. Just trace the product along your natural eyelid shape, and if you had hooded eyes, be sure to place it slightly above your eyelid shape. Don't forget to do the same on the other side. Next, I'm grabbing my P. Louise AM to PM palette and using the shade On The Glow. Remember to pat the eyeshadow instead of swiping it for the maximum pigment. I'm laying this over what we just did. And then blending out those harsh edges for a softer look. I'm now taking the shade No Risk No Magic from the AM to PM palette to go around the darker shadow. Just keep blending, especially in the inner corners, to create a subtle highlight. Let's bring back some depth with the on the glow again and make sure to blend it out gently. Now here's a little trick. I'm using a cotton bud with a bit of oil based makeup remover. You could also use Vaseline to carve out the eyeshadow shape I want. I'll blend those half edges out a bit but not too much this time. For my under eyes I'm using a lilac colour colour corrector from Revlon. It brightens while helping to conceal the dark circles. I haven't tried this one before, so if you have any good recommendations for colour correctors, let me know in the comments. Next is the P. Louise Hydrating Primer. It, I absolutely love this primer, it's a game changer. I'm moving on to the pink camo concealer in Golden Gun, which is a pot concealer. These are great for covering spots. Just a tip, don't blend it too much as it will mix with your foundation anyways. Now I'm using the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation in the shade Medium 39. It might look a bit scary when first applied, but just wait until it oxidises, it'll be perfect. I blend the foundation with the concealer I applied earlier, using a smaller brush to get around my eyebrows and the eyeshadow more carefully. Now on to bronzing, I'm using the BFF Face Frosting Bronzer in Ganache with the Made by Mitchell SKF 12 brush. This is absolutely fabulous brush by the way. I love using this bronzer as a contour and even contouring my nose with a smaller eyeshadow brush. Next I'm grabbing the Made by Mitchell brush in Strawberry Cream. I'll place this on the high points in my cheeks for that snatched look and with what's ever left on my brush I will dust the leftover product across my forehead and chin for a healthy flush. I'm using the Huda Beauty Concealer in Marshmallow on the inner and outer parts of my eyes as well as on my small eyes to help disguise them.
Since I have deep under eye creases, I'll use a dry sponge to pick up any excess product. This helps keep it from settling in those lines. Time for setting. I'm using the Huda Beauty powder in Cherry Blossom Cake with a powder puff under my eyes. And applying the same dark eyeshadow to my waterline, blending it with the rest of my eyeshadow. I might not realise, but my colour. <laughs> I might not realise but my camera just did cut out. Let's keep going. I'm using another Huda Beauty powder in pound cake to bake a little bit. Now I'm reaching the benefit bronzer to set my green bronzer in place. Pro tip, tap the product on before swiping for the best result. I'm using the Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Miami to set my blush. I'm then applying the Maybelline Fit Me Powder under my contour areas to create some nice contrast. Almost done. For my lashes, I'm using two Benefit mascaras: the Bad Girl Bang for length and the Fan Fest one for volume. Finally, I'll be using the Maybelline Mitchell Color Case again, taking the shade Richer to add some beautiful beauty marks and enhance more. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this look. I can't wait to see you all in the next video.